Uh, kia ora koutou, uh, no mai haere mai ki te Akonui Board of Trustees, Kōrero 2024, uh, ko mātua jei mm. toku uh, The team in Akonui Year 5 this year is made up of myself, uh, the wonderfully capable Ms Old, Amanda Old, and our new addition to the team, Anna Kaisley, who has fitted in amazingly and has brought in lots of fresh new ideas for us. Katie Heath shares the job in room 12 with Amanda and Ms White is our SLT representative. Our support team is made up of Susan Butters, Andrea Panaho and our amazing garden to table duo of Kirsty Cameron and Hamina Monreo um, who do a fantastic job for us and you'll get to hear more about that a bit later on. The Year 5 Maths program follows the New Zealand Maths curriculum progressions. Uh, we do a mixture of whole class teaching and student conferencing for likeability groups. We have investigated streaming, however, due to our timetable structure, this is really difficult to get consistency. Maths is a strong point in Year 5. Kia ora koutou, no mai hari mai. My name is Amanda Missold, for those of you who have not met me, and I'm here to talk about the three main areas of literacy for the Year 5s. Uh, we have noticed some gaps uh, upon our revision of our ASTL data and also the other data that we've been collecting throughout the year. We found that punctuation, um, spelling and general structure of writing uh, is lower than we would like. Due to this, we've looked at uh, the code as a staff and have been implementing it in our everyday uh, curriculum. So every day we teach a lesson from the code. Uh, it has a lot of repetition for the students and it breaks it down to very, very simple steps, getting them to verbalise the words, uh, repeat the words aloud to each other and also have a dictation of sentences and then they underline the sounds that they are practising. At the same time, we've been putting gem handwriting into those lessons and we get them to once again go back to the basics and look at the formation of each letter of the alphabet, getting them to uh, draw in the air how to do an A uh, and then do it in their books. Um, and that is also done every day along with the code. And lastly, we have been looking at the Year 5 Top 5, which has been developed in previous years uh, in our team. So it is powerful words, uh, sentence starters, complex sentences, punctuation, and then paragraphs. Uh, this is then put into our different genres. At the moment, we've been looking at speeches. So the students have been uh, writing structured speeches with introductions, paragraphing of their points, and then a conclusion. And then they have been presenting them, practicing their oral language in front of the class. And some of them have gone on to compete amongst the whole team and then on to the year sixes as well. Overall, we have been seeing some improvement, which is really good. Uh, with handwriting and the code, we are still waiting to get some exact results from our work, but signs are looking positive. Akanui uh, continue to be leaders in the Ma Taranga Māori space at Forest Hill School and actually across the uh, Kahui Ako. This year, uh, the Tahana Taumarama Marae trip turned into an overnight experience that was amazing for the Tamariki. Uh, we learned a lot more about Tikanga Marae during this trip, and a whole new generation of our students uh, experienced hangi, experienced the porphyry process, and what it's like to sleep all together in one big building and listen to Matua Jay snore his head off. They were very delighted with that. A learning addition we made this year was an instructional Marae protocol video. And this footage that you can see here is the documentary that we created that explains what to expect when you go to a Marae, the type of experiences that you have, and the protocols involved. I have to say that this year our student leaders that performed 
Taranga, uh, the return call back to uh, the marae and the kai kōrero or the whai kōrero uh, and, and offering of koha during the, um, the hui hui at the end was exceptional. Uh, a special shout out to Arlo, uh, Anna, Tessa, Michaela and Otis for the mahi that they did. This experience is amazing for the children and I think going forward uh, will really consolidate their understanding of what Tariti or Waitangi means to them as people. Uh, the team has also been involved in the development of a teacher resource tool for Mataranga Māori um, instruction at Forest Hill School. This tool will provide teachers with a resource that they can refer to uh, in order to implement the Te Ao Māori curriculum at Forest Hill School. It shows them what to teach, includes the contents of what needs to be taught and gives them some direction in fulfilling the needs of our school curriculum. It is based on the New Zealand curriculum, consultation with our community and consultation with the wider pupuki kahui ako. This tool should be finished by the end of 2024, ready for implementation in 2025. So at this point, I'd just like to give a big shout out to the amazing Pei Wen who is helping us uh, typeset uh, digitally this resource tool. Kia ora koutou. Garden to Table has provided us with lots of authentic learning experiences this year. We've learned many valuable gardening and cooking skills but we've also made strong connections to our local environment by visiting Grow Forest Hill Community Garden. We were also treated to a yummy wood fire pizza. Akanui was also introduced to an exciting new photo competition. Tamariki got up close and personal with nature. Watch out National Geographic. Our entrepreneurial spirit was also on display during our market day. We started the process from growing all the way to selling and we sold to our local Fano. Our financial literacy skills were also put into practice. Here's what some of our awesome students have to say. Hello, I really loved eating the super yummy food at the end. It was the best. I liked the photo competition the best because there was a competitive feeling everywhere. When we won, we felt proud. I like the apple crumbles and all the foods. I like I'm cooking because it's made me excited and has experience. I like cooking fruits and planting the seeds at the kitchen and the garden. Also, I like eating fruits. I love doing the market. It was a bit tricky because we had to give change quickly because it was busy. I like when we went to Grow Forest Hill because we got a yummy pizza and we planted some strawberries. A huge namahi to Kirsty, Hamina and Miss White. Thank you for all your mahi.